Mr. Vineet Priyadarshi. Presently, he is the Regional Client Account Manager for Black & Bridge O&M Solution Portfolio in India and APAC. He has a degree in Mechanical Engineering and an MBA from the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. Additionally, he holds certification in Energy Risk and Energy Auditing. Mr. Vineet has more than 22 years of experience in conventional and renewable power generation with expertise in retrofits, decarbonization, predictive maintenance, renewable integration, and power plant flexibility. Mr. Vineet will present a talk on role of technology in improving power plant safety during maintenance operations. So let's welcome Mr. Vineet. When we talk about safety, there are a few things here which I want to highlight. One, safety is, is not a choice. It's, it's, it's a compliance. It's mandatory for all of us. A lot about safety is related to our behavior. There is a, a, speci a special subject, what we call as behavioral safety, and uh, it has a lot to do with our discipline. Uh, whether in our homes or in the industry, there is always a chance that we may overlook unsafe situations and then put ourselves or our life in danger. Of late, what we have seen that, you know, in, 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 in various industrial parallels, technology has a big role to play in, in, in preventing or avoiding some of these you know, incidents. I'll just talk about a few examples in this forum and, and then uh, maybe we can have another discussion uh, going forward. So recently in one of the utility that we monitor from India through what we call as remote monitoring application, there was a minor hydrogen leakage in their generators. Uh, you know, generators, especially for large power stations are expected to get their cooling from hydrogen. And uh, if there is a leakage, then, then it, it becomes catastrophic because hydrogen and air, if they are mixing in a certain concentration, they may, they may be invisible and then there may be a potential explosion as well. Now, hydrogen leakages are commonplace, you know, whenever there are issues, either your you know, rotor winding temperatures are going up or your hydrogen uh, pressures are lowering down, you go and top up more hydrogen into the system. But the problem here is that if your hydrogen level are going up beyond what we call as a safe limit, then it is a big catastrophe. And using a technique, what we call as predictive analytics, the role of predictive analytics in preventing such incidences like hydrogen leakages. So through, through some very nice machine learning algorithm and through you know data we could analyze this onset of leakage quite early and and then provide the alert to the plant maintenance uh, you know this this was critical because uh, uh, the leakage was not common it was basically a, a, a dangerously uh, increasing leakage and the maintenance crew took actions and they they, they address the problem on time. In many situations, especially in you know oil and gas side, we see over pressurization of heat exchangers, you know, piping systems being being a critical issue. So here also, if if you know the pattern of over pressurization and if you have a machine learning algorithm in the background that can understand that signature and then it can predict. Uh, any real-time instance of such an increase in pressure, then it helps in terms of the avoidance of such hazard. And we have a lot of case studies in, in Black and Beach where we have seen such such cases of overpressurization, if you know, if not being detected in advance. Uh, one aspect which I talked in my initial talk in my initial conversation was on safety the behavioral safety so uh, you know there are two parts to it one is the system and processes we have permitted to work to go to a system almost in place in every power station and i think most of the power stations in india do follow those procedures the other 
part of it is related to what we call as the, the manager's zone of tolerance. So managers or leaders, you know, we need to be very watchful in terms of uh, the safe upkeep of our facility. So normally safety is driven from top to bottom and that is how we practice. Though it could be facilitated from bottom to top. So we as a managers have a very big role to play in, 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 in imbuing the right behavioral uh, you know, uh, elements into our crew. And that, that plays a very critical role when we talk about operation and maintenance. We have OSHAs which talk a lot about this, this aspect of managerial responsibility in imposing you know, a safe workplace. I mean, lastly, what I would like to talk about is that uh, there are various applications which are hazardous, but we have technologies like drone, uh, augmented reality, predictive analytics, which are helping clients in terms of avoiding those unsafe situations. Operators' negligence also can be captured through machine learning software, and and then that that insight could be used for training the operators so that they. You know, the overall effectiveness. So that's all I want to say as my submission. Thank you very much.